Coley safe passage through to uh, to round two of the League Cup. Both your strikers have scored. I know that always pleases you. How, how pleased are you with that performance? Really pleased with the first half performance. Disappointed I'll be invited them on in the second. We spoke about it at half time that we wanted to carry on in the same vein. Probably like a boxer doesn't want the bell when you're on top. Uh, they raised the game, which you know you'd expect them to at home uh, in front of their own fans. Um, and I thought we'd weathered the storm. It did. They looked as though they'd shot the ball, but the curse of making a sub continues to haunt me. Again, um, you know, Sean's ready to slip, and then it's a great free kick. They're disappointed it's gone in from that range, but it is a great strike, and you've got to, you know, give some credit. Uh, but we showed the courage to, to get back in. You know, we, we should have scored a minute before they made it one-one. We've had a glorious opportunity and fluffed our lines in front of the goal. And then, you know, it was an unbelievable shot by Joe, great save, and Colby's Johnny on the spot. And as you said before, it's great when you strike a score. Um, I just know the confidence it gives you, particularly early on in the season. You don't want to go too long without scoring. That tends to uh, weigh you down a bit. And, you know, there were some big performances out there, and uh, Dion was back to the way he was last year, terrorising defenders, and he terrorised them all night, to be honest. Colby again winning his headers. I mean, I lost count of the number of fouls we had, you know, and, and probably should have had about another 20 more, but um, you know, we end up with three yellow cards, they end up with one. Um, but, you know, if they're having to foul us, it means we're playing well. They've made a lot of changes, which I think disrupted them. We only made a couple, we give, we give Sean a rest. Um, and Jono was, was injured, so James had a knock as well. So they wasn't, we weren't going to make wholesale changes. Uh, and I think that showed in the first half performance. How encouraged are you by the improvement in the areas, the concentration, the defending as a, as a unit that you were frustrated with at the weekend? Well, lots of times Ross got in the right place at the right time, so did Michael Nottingham. Um, and that's what you want from your defenders, and the defender, like I know what he can do tonight. As I said before, I think we we had to defend more than what I would have liked. We didn't occupy them anywhere near enough in the second half, up the other end of the pitch. Uh, and that's something that we've got to wear. On your strikers, there's an awful lot of talk in football about the guys who put the ball in the net, and the price tags are always the biggest. The way those two combine and how hard they work, relatively speaking, will you find a better combination and a better partnership? They are a really really good pair, and you know we've got. A, We've got a couple of good strikers ourselves waiting in the wings. You know, Joe Harry's had to have an operation, which is a blow for us. But, um, you know, Joel Mombongo is a, is a really good player. And um, I'm sure he, he'll have plenty of excitement for our fans this season. But, you know, when Zion plays like that, he's unplayable. He, can't, he, he doesn't give you a minute on the ball. He's strong. He makes the right runs. He gets his, his touch right. His goal's sublime. You know, he, he's got no right to get possession of the ball in the first place, great kick by Toby by the way, but he's got no right to get any possession of the ball, he's, he's muscled the lads out, faced them up, shifted it and smashed it into the corner and you know, he's missed an easier one on Saturday, that's the, that's the frustrating thing. How good will this be preparation wise, going into your first home game and back to the league at the weekend, because you can build momentum from winning games? Well, winning games gives you confidence, there's no getting away from that. Um, you know, if we hadn't won that, we'd have been asking ourselves why after the first half performance. As I said, they, they came on strong in the second half and fair play to them to that. But you've got to find a way to defend it when, you, when people put pressure on you. People aren't just going to give you an easy ride and let you walk all over them. People are going to have a go back. And you've got to be prepared to defend yourself and defend your goal. And that's an 11. You know, Dion's made an unbelievable header, the near post, from a, from a vicious free kick. So. You know, it's not just the defenders who have to be responsible. You know, we've all got to chip in, score and keep them out and generally making chances. And I'm sure your attention turns immediately to the weekend. You've ticked one box with your first victory of the season. First home game, chance to play in front of the fans again. You've been waiting so long. Yeah, you know, and we had a little taste in a couple of the friendlies. I'm sure that'll be ramped up on Saturday. Um, and there's nothing better when we get the, the, the Clayton end going and the ultras in, a, in full voice and especially if we play well you know that it's a two-way thing they, 
the players respond to the fans and the fans respond to the players so hopefully we'll have that manager on Saturday and is the next challenge the next box to take consistency and put in another good performance well the next challenge is to get points on the board you know we don't want to be stuck on north for, for too long